All right, this is Brent from We Missed the Exit, round three. Kurt and I recorded a show. I screwed up the audio. I don't know how I did it, so I'm going to re-record it. If he jumps on, awesome. He'll be in one of these boxes here, there, somewhere, whatever. Um, this is our basketball championship thing. This is the uh, We Missed the Exit NBA tag, king of the hill, you're it, whatever it is that we're calling it that Brian came up with. Uh, to recap this game, a team holds the trophy, and they hold on to that trophy for however long they can until a team beats them. The team that beat them then takes the trophy for however many days they hold it until they lose to another team. And we're going to be keeping track of this throughout the whole NBA season. And we're going to take a look real quick, the recap so far. As you can see, I've held it for 10 days. Kurt's had it for two. Brian, zero. Evan, for seven. And Kurt and I pretty much talked on this page about what has been our biggest surprise so far. And the biggest surprise, again, has been how Kurt's been killing it. We, we don't know how. He hates basketball. The other three of us love basketball. And we're we're not even 500. And he's killing it. So uh, it, that, that's on him. Because we, we, we talked about how, hey... Whoever has the best record at the end of the season should get some of the money or whatever. And he said, nope, that's not how that's done. Well, loss is his. Uh, we also talked about how we're surprised, you know, the Lakers are not doing as well as they are. We were all hoping they were going to be, not we were all hoping, but I think a lot of us thought that they were going to be doing a lot better. I thought the Hornets would be doing better. LaMelo's been hurt, so I understand that. Uh, and I think the other big surprises are the Utah Jazz. You know, they, they unloaded Mitchell and Gobert. Now they're killing it. You know, it's kind of like when the Denver Nuggets unloaded Melo years ago. They ended up doing better without him. Go figure. Mill is terrible. Uh, anyway, that's how it's been going. Now to recap what happened so far this season. As you can see, I had it for the beginning with Golden State. Evan took it for, or Kurt took it for a few days. Then Evan took it from him for a day. I got it back. Evan grabbed it back from me for six days. Then Indiana got it. Nobody has Indiana. Go figure. The Pacers. Anyway, they had it for almost a week. Then my Denver Nuggets, they, they snuck a win, barely beat them in a game. They won by like three points in overtime or something like that. And now they have it. And then we look at tonight's game. We have the Nuggets against the Celtics. And Kurt and I were talking about this game, and we both think it's going to be in the garden. We think it's going to be Celtics coming out on top. Their defense first. They have a lot of firepower. Brockton's hurt a little bit. Um, he's day-to-day. They're not sure if he's going to be playing. The game's probably starting soon. And then you have my team that's just overloaded with too much offense, no defense. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, we both have the Celtics winning this. And then we're going to look at the next few days um, for the Denver Nuggets. How are their games going to be if they don't win this Boston game? Uh, Kurt and I said, you know, there's a good chance they'll probably beat Chicago. They'll probably beat New York. Um, and they'll probably lose to Dallas in one of those games. Dallas has been Donkic and uh, Spencer Dinwiddie and who else? I, I don't know. But Dallas has been doing well. And if they, if Denver doesn't lose to Dallas, I think they're going to hold it for quite a few days. LA, who knows if Kawhi is going to be back. I know he's hurt. He was talking about doing five on five recently. So anyway, I think Denver is either going to hold it for the next two weeks or they're going to lose to Boston tonight. Or Dallas, eh, that's a toss-up. Probably one of those games. Who knows? Anyway, this is our fantasy league that uh, Evan and myself have a team. We're Yoba Goya. And here's Brian down by the bay. And we got a, we got shellacked last week because, and you know, we're going to make excuses. I looked it up. Five of our top six picks were all hurt with injuries. And, and so they were all out. And as you can see, you know, going against Brian's like our barometer, even though we're in two separate divisions in our fantasy league um as you can see we're getting crushed right now we, we got crushed last week two to six and we're, we're just getting destroyed so when we compare ourselves to brian we're, we're doing terrible hopefully we get over the injury bug hopefully our guys are all healthy i think we still have like two injured that are out right now maybe three um i don't want to unload too many players just yet so we'll see and lastly, here we have who is this? Don't look it up. Don't do not do anything. But I want to see if you guys can do it. Uh, Kurt couldn't get it. I bet Brian or Evan, one of those two would have got it. I gave Kurt a hint with the name, the first name, and almost got the player. I think he said he's heard of him, but not quite. Um, put your guess in the uh, in the comments below. You know, See if you can get this guess. Uh, who is this player? Um, they still play, obviously. Uh, probably not. I mean, their role is a little bit diminished at this point. But, you know, they're still around. I think this heart condition thing where they didn't play for an entire year would give it away to Brian or Evan. Kurt, obviously, he, he didn't know. Just he's not a basketball guy. So anyway, if you think you know who it is, put in the comments below. Don't guess. Takes the fun out of it. Um, anyway, that's it for our basketball show. 
Don't forget to check out Kurt's F1 show that he's doing. He forgot to do one last week. Uh, so he's going to be uh, grouping the two recently ones, done ones uh, coming up, the USA one and the Mexico one. And I think there are a couple more races coming up, Abu Dhabi and something else. So don't forget to check him out in one of the things up here or down there. I don't know where it is. Anyway, check out more of our We Miss the Exit show stuff. And we'll see you next week with this show.